Hello, welcome to Tuesday, second Tuesday. So uh, we're looking at punctuation on Tuesdays, as we said last week. And last week we looked at commas, because commas, as I said, are the worst offender. Um, so maybe apostrophes when we get to them. They're pretty misused as well. But today we're talking about the colon and the semicolon. These are pretty simple to use if you know the rules. There's really two ways you can use each one of them. So a semicolon, um, I've heard it said like this. It looks like a comma with a period over it. So we know that it's some connection between the two things that is more than a comma but less than a period. If that makes sense to you, if that helps you, great. If not, if it confuses you, don't worry about it. But we use semicolons to join together independent clauses. And if you remember from last week, uh, an independent clause is a sentence. It's a fancy word, clause means sentence, basically. And it's independent, meaning it stands on its own. But if you want, you can join two independent clauses, not three or more, just two, um, with a semicolon. So what you're doing if you use a semicolon like that is saying these two sentences have a connection. I don't want to put a period after the first sentence because it sort of is in the same thought or it's, it's expressed again in the, in the second one. They have a connection, but you wouldn't use a comma and you want it to be more of a focus. So you'd use a semicolon. So a semicolon is a harder um, stop. It's a harder pause than a comma. But it's not a pause like at the end of a sentence, a period, or a question mark, or an exclamation point. So a semicolon, you're going to pause and really make sure you understood the first clause before you go to the second clause. And if you're joining them together in your writing, remember, it's because the two sentences, the two independent clauses, have a connection that you want to highlight by using the semicolon. So that's the first way you can use a semicolon. The second way you can use a semicolon is pretty easy. We talked about commas last week in lists. Uh, if you got three or more things in a list, you need commas in between them. But what happens when the things in your list have commas in them? Like say their titles and one of the titles has a comma in it. It can get confusing then if you're using commas for two different purposes. If you're using them to separate the items in the list and to do something else within the list. You don't want to use commas in two different ways at the same time. So, in that case, you're going to use a semicolon between the items in the list and leave the uh, commas where they are. Now, a colon 
not too different from a semicolon in that you can also join independent clauses together. So you want to use a colon because that's more connection than a semicolon. So a semicolon, there's a connection between the two clauses. We talked about that. With a colon, it's a stronger connection. It's saying these two sentences mean very similar things. They might mean the exact same thing, but I'm saying it in two different ways, hoping that maybe you can understand one or the other. Or for whatever reason, you need to restate the first clause in a different way. Then you would use a colon in between them. So in some way, it's going to summarize or sharpen or explain even the first clause. So you can use a colon. And you don't, with a semicolon or a colon, when you're joining clauses, you don't use a conjunction, an and, but, or anything like that. You just use the colon or semicolon. And then the second use of the colon is the one that you're probably most familiar with. And that is to introduce something, usually a list. So I bought three things at the store, colon, ice cream, chips, and milk commas in between those. But the colon introduces the list. So those are the two ways you use a semicolon and the two ways you use a colon. Just remember, no conjunction if you're joining clauses, if you're using these. And colons cannot go after verbs or prepositions. So the three things I like, colon, that wouldn't work because like is a verb. Got it? I hope so. Um, your assignment today is going to be IXL, again, working with colons and semicolons and still some commas because you can't get enough practice with commas. All right. Thank you guys. I hope that you do some reading today. Bye.